Hi everyone. Uh, so today we are going to see uh, one configuration uh, which is changed from Spring Boot uh, previous Spring Boot to Spring Boot 2. Uh, so the topic today's topic is basically uh, how to uh, how to change the uh, under uh, underlying uh, web container that is. Uh, default to web container which comes with uh, Spring Boot is Tomcat and uh, we want to change it to instead of Tomcat it should use uh, the Jetty server so that's what we are going to do so we have created two simple web projects here one is uh, using Gradle uh, this current one which uh, is seen on the screen is uh, based on Gradle and the other one is uh, maven based project so in gradle project we need to add a build.gradle file we need to uh, do some changes uh, so what we need to do is we need to add the configuration uh, configurations for removing you know the tomcat starter web uh, spring boot starter tomcat that we need, need to define in compile not exclude so in module we need to define spring boot starter tomcat and uh, in dependencies since we want to add the jetty server so we need to give that if those dependencies under dependencies compile uh, option yeah so here we need to do that under dependencies tag uh, we need to uh, we need to say compile and uh, org spring boot uh, spring framework boot then the uh, spring boot uh, spring Spring Boot Starter Jetty we need to add here exactly this one and the version we need to give and apart from that we need to add the web also because that is where we will be doing that exclusion okay so these two things we need to do in the under build gradle dot uh, build dot gradle and apart from this so that's what we are doing here Apart from this, we need to add. Uh, we need to add the exclusions in the uh, in our uh, Spring Boot application class itself. So those exclusions are basically related to yeah. So before to that, we are just writing a simple controller here. Uh, it's nothing but a REST controller which is just uh, answering on just uh, responding on uh, our core our uh, context path that is slash on slash uh, get mapping we will be simply saying hello world to you know uh, to this application so that's what we are doing from here it's simply returning a string on the br web browser it should return the string uh, that's the simple simplest thing we can think of from such uh, pocs yeah so our con rest controller is done uh, we, we just tried to bounce the server back and uh, yeah and the second thing which i was telling earlier we need to add the exclusions here so we need to add the exclusion class that is embedded uh, under spring boot annotation the spring boot application annotation we need to define the exclusions in under exclude uh, exclude uh, exclude attribute we need to define what and all classes we, we are going to you know exclude uh, from the container so in current scenario uh, we want to exclude the embedded server uh, embedded servlet container auto configuration class so but uh, hey what why this class is not importing okay
so at this point of time we thought of uh, checking on the google also uh, because the latest version which we are using uh, for spring boot is spring boot 2.2.4 2.4 actually so yeah let's check uh, and we found this solution it's so this uh, link says uh, that uh, to uh, spring boot 2 onwards some classes are restructured some hierarchies have been changed ha are changed so actually unfortunately this class also has uh, changed so they have come up with uh, they changed this approach itself it seems let's uh, try the uh, suggested uh, class instead of the one which we were looking earlier that is servlet web server factory auto configuration class that is what they have suggested in that uh, stack overflow link let's see okay build is successful but uh, let's see if our server also works okay So after rechecking this concept on multiple different sites, uh, we came across to this how to do in Java again. Uh, so in how to do in Java tutorial, we found this link, which is showing exactly what we are looking for. So this is the approach uh, which has been shown here and we are doing it. Now uh, we need to add a bean uh, for configuration, configurable ser servlet web server factory. And under, under that pin, we would be returning Jetty Server configure, uh, Jetty Server, uh, Jetty Server, uh, Jetty Servlet Web Server Factory class. So we should be returning this class. Uh, we can have the all the bells and whistles on top of this, or we can simply have the Jetty Server uh, Web uh, Servlet Web Server Factory itself. So when I say bells and whistles are ports uh, like on which it will uh, jetty server will start and context path and those things we can set here either or we can simply uh, return the same jetty server jetty solid web server factory uh, class itself so let's try this approach also i fingers crossed let's hope this time it should work we'll see So by adding all these uh, uh, these configurations, uh, after this we will uh, bounce back the server, and we will see whether uh, our application is uh, working, coming up with Jetty server, or it's still it is pointing to Tomcat. So, and uh, yeah, with this uh, whatever uh, content I'm showing on the screen, with this we need to have the yeah have the dependencies and uh, configurations also. So these two things will work together. Then only it seems uh, this will this this POC will work. So let's see if it works. So build is successful. Let's see further uh, the uh, our server is coming up or not. Voila, our server is up. Jetty, st Jetty started on port 8080. Yes, now let's see uh, whether we are able to hit our uh, our server and uh, able to hit the URL. 
so 8080 slash 404 okay i think the context path which we have set is different than what we have in the controller so let's remove the context path from the code it's uh, from the configuration class uh, yeah uh, from here uh, we will we will uh, run it on the uh, on the 8080 port only and we will remove the con context path from this configuration class we will simply have the uh, context path slash so let's run it over here still it's not coming up what's wrong here okay should be this should be this thing seems to be fine yippee finally we are able to hit the context path and we are getting hello world from this application so this is the gradle configuration whatever we have done uh, and now we are able to hit the jetty from our gradle application similar things we will do for maven also so the uh, uh, the rest of the part of this video would be showing the maven part maven configuration what maven configuration changes we need to do uh, in with respect to you know changing the pointing to the jetty server instead of tomcat let's see uh So now we are creating uh, another project uh, which is uh, which is just for Maven. So we are naming it uh, followed by a slash uh, dash Maven. So this project again will be same as the previous one, and uh, we will be having everything else is same, just Maven project, and uh, the dependency is again same web dependency, and we are importing that project here in the IntelliJ. Uh, we will proceed further as we proceeded in gradle in the previous project so here uh, in case of uh, maven we need to add the exclude the dependency uh, from the spring boot starter web uh, dependency we need to add exclusion for uh, for spring boot uh, starter tomcat and corresponding uh, group id that is nothing but org spring uh, framework dot boot and uh, yes we need to add the dependency for uh, our very own jetty server that is spring boot starter jetty and corresponding RTA group id that is nothing but org dot spring framework dot boot yeah so let's add that and uh, after adding we need to reimport Uh, the full uh, we need to uh, maven reload we need to do uh, uh, we need to go to the project and then uh, we need to right click and uh, go to maven menu and then we need to you know click uh, reload so that's what we are doing here reload pro project so it is reloading everything and uh, rebuilding our project yep it find out the it it has loaded the proper dependency and now here we are simply adding the bean as we have done in the case of gradle also so what we have done is i'm rem uh, re remind i'm uh, telling it again on a second time that is nothing but configurable servlet uh, web server factory we need to add 
which is a parent of uh, jetty solid web server factory so here we are since we don't need any bells and whistles so we are simply returning uh, a new instance of jetty solid web server factory and uh, we are just uh, copy pasting the controller from uh, the gradle project and since everything is same we have just stopped that server instance and uh, yeah here we will be telling to differentiate we will be simply saying like hello world from maven jetty and uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's start the project i mean let's start the server and see uh, whether uh, the same magic happens here as we have seen with uh, gradle project or we will see some some problems it's a problem let's uh, let's see in the server logs oh server is started yeah server is started as in the previous section also it is so let's hit the localhost 8080 slash which is our context path for this ep we got this also here and here ends today's playground session thanks for watching and support our work and lots of thanks to to be with us and supporting us subscribe to our channel our work and have a nice day bye